The PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs with reasonable prices. The Gerbo files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find link in the description. This is my third tutorial on the REX RYLR890 or RYLR896 15 km 915 MHz transceiver module. In this episode, you will learn how to make multiple sensors monitoring system using REX RYLR890 based LoRa module and Arduino. This is an advanced level project and explains how to split the entire string message and store the different parameters and different variables. With the help of this project, you can monitor multiple sensors within 15 km range. In this project, I have used three variable resistors as the sensors, which of course you can replace with any other sensors you want. As the sensors values are stored in different variables, now you can use F conditions to monitor each sensor individually and then you can control some relays or you can send notification messages etc. The basic circuit diagram, programming, interfacing and AD commands are already explained in my previous two tutorials. If you are using the RYLR890 based LoRa module for the first time then I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorials which covers the extreme basics and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the long range wireless 915 MHz radio frequency LoRa transceiver modules by the REX technology. The amazing thing about these modules is that we can change the frequencies of these modules using the AD commands, which I have already explained in my previous tutorials. These modules are designed for the long range communication up to 15 kilometers. LoRa transceiver modules can be used in IoT applications, mobile equipments, home security systems, industrial monitoring and control equipment, car alarm system, robotics, sensor monitoring and so on. This transceiver module has the processor which communicates with the Arduino through the serial communication. So the exchange of data between the RYLR890 and a microcontroller is controlled by this processor. Now let's open the data sheet and have a look at the specifications. The minimum voltage is 2.8 volts. The typical voltage is 3.3 volts and the maximum voltage is 3.6 volts. Using Arduino I can easily power up these transceiver modules using 3.3 volts. Minimum frequency range is 820 MHz. Typical frequency range is from 868 to 915 MHz. Maximum frequency range can be up to 1020 MHz. Typical range is 4.5 km. Maximum range is 15 km. Transmit current. Typical value is 43 mA. Receive current. Typical value is 16.5 milliamps. As you can see, this transceiver module has a total of six pins, which are clearly labeled as VDD, NRST, which is the reset pin active low, RXD, TXD. Pin number five is not used, while pin number six is the ground. As you know, Arduino is based on the five volt controller, while the LoRa transceiver module by the REX technology can handle voltages from 2.8 to maximum 3.6 volts. The typical voltage is 3.3 volts, as explained earlier. From this information, we know that this module cannot be directly interfaced with the Arduino. For this, we need some kind of converter which can convert 5 volts into 3.3 volts. But instead of using the converter, we can use a simple voltage divider circuit. As you can see, 4.7K and 10K resistors are connected in series, which gives me 
4 volts, which is perfect for the Rex LoRa transceiver module. A wire from the middle of these resistors is connected with the RXD pin of the module. The other leg of the 10K resistor is connected with the ground, while the other leg of the 4.7K resistor is connected with the TX of the Arduino. The RX pin of the Arduino is connected with the TXT pin of the LoRa module. The ground of the LoRa module is connected with the ground of the Arduino. The middle leaks of all the variable resistors are connected with the analog pins A1, A2 and A3 while the other two legs of all the variables are connected with the Arduino's 5 folds and ground. This is the PCB board designed for the REX RYLR890 LoRa module. I added some extra female headers for connecting sensors, voltage regulators etc. At the bottom side, I added two female headers for the 5 folds and ground. After I was satisfied with the PCB layout, then I generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. I have a separate video on this in which I have explained how to design a PCB and how to place an online order. You can find the link in the description. These are the PCB boards which I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see the quality is really great and everything is ace for the order. The silk screen is quite clear. The blue solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. The Gerber files of the PCB can be downloaded from the PCBWay website. You can find the link in the description. As you can see, I'm done with the soldering. This is the transmitter side PCB and this one is the receiver side PCB. All the connections are done is per the circuit diagram which I have already explained. In this project, two programs are used. One program is written for the transmitter side Arduino and the other program is written for the receiver side Arduino. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. This is the same program I used in the second tutorial for monitoring one sensor. For multiple sensors monitoring I did few changes. I increased the number of sensors and variables. Data underscore length is a variable of the type integer which will be used to store the total number of characters and finally define another variable of the type string. This variable will be used to store the complete string message consisting of the sensor's data. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication while this is the baud rate. This is the default baud rate of the REX LoRa module. You can easily change this baud rate using the 80 commands which I have already explained in my previous tutorial. The variable resistors are set as the input devices. Then start the wide loop function. The wide loop function consists of only two functions. These are user-defined functions which I have created in order to make the program more user-friendly. 
Multiple census is a user-defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The main purpose of this function is to read the variable resistors and store the values in variable VR data, VR data 2 and VR data 3. Then I created a complete string message consisting of the sensor values and used the percent sign as the delimiter. This will help me to split the sensor's values on the receiver side. Everything else remains the same as explained in my second tutorial. In second tutorial, I have also explained how the AD plus send command works and how the parameters are used. So that's all about the transmitter side programming. Now let's discuss the receiver side programming. I started off by defining the variables of the type string and character. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication and selected the portrait which is exactly the same as used on the transmitter side. If the Arduino has received data from the LoRa module, then simply read the string and print the message on the serial monitor for the debugging purposes. The received string message has a total of 5 parameters, address, data length, data, RSSI and SNR. Using the get value function, this string is split using comma as the delimiter and the parameters are stored in the variables L, M, N, O and P. Then using the serial.println function, you can send these values to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes. Now I'm going to split the data string n which consists of all the sensor values. In this string, sensor values are separated by the percent sign. So the sensor's values are split and stored in variables q, r and s. You can use the serial.println function to print these values on the serial monitor to check if you have successfully accessed all the sensor values. Gate value is a user defined function and is used to split the string message using delimiters. So that's all about the programming. These programs can be downloaded from our website. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.